Hello, this is Dr. Kamani, licensed clinical psychologist. A job that is killing you is not a good job. This is a quote from Stephanie Perry from her video, her recent video, in which she talked about Black women and where we can find a place of ease. So I will put that video in the description section as well. But just to think about, if a job is killing you, it's not a good job. So when we think about you know, I can't leave this good job, this good job with all these benefits and I'm getting a good salary and all those different things. I invite you to think about how good is a job that's really killing you. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about ways that you can tell that a job is really harming you for you to really critically evaluate if this is really a good job. So this is for Black women and toxic jobs. And particularly for Black women, if you are starting to get to the point where you're recognizing that you are not liking your job, you are experiencing uh, workplace trauma at your job in terms of the level of disrespect, uh, being demoralized, micromanaged, microaggressions, so many things. And you are recognizing this is not really the place for you. So I'm gonna go over some signs for you to tell that, again, I'm using Stephanie Perry's quote uh, from the video, a place for Black women to exhale. So again, check out that video. So one, in terms of how to tell, is if you are starting to develop physical and or mental health symptoms, which you can associate uh, to the stress at your job. So you may either not have had these issues before starting that job, and or if maybe you have those conditions already, you're noticing that there's a worsening, which is associated with the stress of the job. Because we know that stress can cause really, really, really bad um, effects on your body. So, you know, your doctor might ask you about level of stress. Are you under a lot of stress? And, you know, just in terms of life, particularly as Black women, we are dealing with stress anyway with being in the society, but we can often, you know, pinpoint the source of our significant stress. If the job, the toxic job is a source of significant stress, I want you to think about in what ways is that contributing to my health? Because if you think about, you know, this good job has good benefits, I, again, ask you to think, what are the benefits if the job is harming you? So if the job is contributing to you being sick or you needing to go to the doctor more often or utilizing those so-called good benefits more often, then the job is not good for you. It's, it's harming you. So that's one. Number two, in terms of how you can tell, is if your job is all-consuming, meaning that you think about your job all the time, you know, even when you're away from the job on weekends, vacations, holidays, you're taking work home, you are spending way too much mental energy on your job. So in addition to you preparing for going to go into the job and the feelings of dread you might have as you go into the job, but getting there, doing your job, so spending your time there, and then once you're leaving, you're still thinking about the job. You're taking that job home with you. And that's the third sign too. So the third sign is that you're taking the job home with you. So it's all consuming. You are continuing to talk about your job once you leave the job. So all your family and friends know to keep players at your job because you talk about it so much. So those are so those, those are two and three together, okay? And then number four is if you are in a situation where um, you dread any day of your life in relation to a job. Dread is that your body, your soul is telling you, I don't want to be here. So if you are dreading any part of your day, I know for me, it was Sundays at 5 p.m., it was the worst part of the week for me because I knew the weekend was over and I had to go right back to that toxic place. So if that is for you too, I've heard a Black woman talking about it actually starts Sunday morning. So they're dreading the whole Sunday. So it might be different variations for you, but if you're dreading any part of your day because of a job, then I again invite you to really think about 
is this job harming you? And if the job is harming you or you're dreading parts of your life, then how is that really a good job? So just think about that. So even though we know that jobs provide us with the financial resources so that we can pay our bills and you know pay our mortgage or our rent or things like that, we also have to think about are there other ways that we can do that? Do we can we get another job where we're still able to do that? And is this the only place where we'll be able to get money? No, it's not. But we sometimes get stuck in that way of thinking. And sometimes we get stuck because we are fearful that we wouldn't be able to find anything else. So if you're in that situation, I would invite you to start looking and start exploring other options because, you know, you may not want to leave tomorrow, even though you deep down, you really want to leave tomorrow, but you may not plan to leave tomorrow. So you might need to start taking some steps in terms of trying to figure out what your next move is so that you can pivot and leave and you're not experiencing financial hardship as you pivot and leave and find a different job if that's what you want to do or if you want to have your own business but whatever it is when you start dreading any part of your life now we're looking at the quality of your life too so the quote that stephanie perry uh, mentioned earlier about any job is killing you it's not a good job I would also add to that, think about the quality of your life. So did you work as hard as you did? Did you go through all the schooling, all these different things to get your job, all the prep to interview and all the applications and networking and going to the job every day and working really hard and sacrificing your time? Did you do all of that to have a day, any day in which you dread your life? I hope not. I hope not. I hope that you know that you deserve much better. And then the last sign is, do you feel like your life is on hold on some kind of way? Like, I, I, you know, I can have fun um, um, on my vacation. I can have fun or I can really live once I retire. If you are saying things like that to yourself, you're really lying to yourself that you can postpone the misery so you can be miserable for a long period of your time. Actually, the majority of your waking time, you are miserable, but you're saying, I can wait to have fun until vacation or until I retire. So two things with that. One is that what is your day-to-day -day like? So are you just going through and it's just, you're just, dreading every single day? Are you not having any source of joy or peace or anything in your daily existence? So think about what that feels like. Also, if you think about, okay, I'm just going to wait to my vacation. So just think about, you, you're waiting for the vacation, you go on vacation, think about all you have to go through to get to the vacation, all the work you have to make sure that is taken care of before you go. And then when you go, you still might be thinking about the job. And then think about what happens as your vacation is winding down. You are probably thinking about, I got to go back to that place. You're probably on some type of countdown about when you have to go back to that place. And then when you go back to the job, oftentimes you may experience this um, post-vacation slump that is like a downer. So your moment of fun is over and now you're back to the drudgery at your job. So that's one thing. The other thing, I'm going to quote Stephanie Perry again, where she talked about um, with the retirement, you know, many times as Black people, we've been taught that we have to work twice as hard to get half as much, that we find a good job, we stay there, we retire. And once we retire, you know, things will be so much easier for us. However, when we think about what we go through as a people uh, and what we go through just trying to survive at these jobs, that the stress level that we're experiencing can cause us to live a shorter life. So the stress, ongoing stress, is not good for our body. So if we have a medical condition or if we have developed a medical condition, stress makes it worse. So if we think about we're going to postpone our lives until retirement, 
then again, let's think about the quality of your life for so many years. So we're talking about decades. And the stress that you're experiencing at the workplace may shorten your life. So you may not make it to retirement. So again, all these things are just to encourage you to really reflect on the quality of life you have right now and to really reflect on if this is the life that you want for yourself. If it is not the life that you want for yourself, perhaps these videos can help you in terms of starting the process of making your next move and, and starting to come into terms with, I got to get out of here. So, you know, the videos might be just an easy way for you to listen and self-reflect because a lot of times we keep going because we're so busy and being busy all the time, that's a trauma response. So I invite all of us to take a moment. I know we're busy. I know we're taking care of a lot of things, but take a moment where we pause and we ask ourselves about our life and are we happy with how our life is going and are we okay with that? If you are not okay with that, start thinking about what your next moves are. So again, it might be baby steps in terms of watching these videos. It might be watching other people's videos, um, Colette Elizabeth, Marissa Price, other people's videos, Stephanie Perry, Alicia Renice, watching those videos, Adelia, Rashida Dow. So, so you can see that we can have another way of living. It doesn't have to be the way that we've been programmed to live. So we can, we can live and, and do well. So don't feel that we only have this one option. This one toxic job is the only job you can get. That is not true. You do have options, but you may need some time to prepare. So in preparing yourself, Again, maybe watch videos to help you, like my videos that I talk about. And in the videos that I share with you, I'll also talk to you about resources. So maybe it might be looking at the videos and starting to explore the options or the resources that I have in the description section or other resources that you may need or want to explore, but just start the process. So when I talk about you know small things that you can do, you may be more comfortable with taking baby steps. And it's okay if you take baby steps. It's, it's okay. The, the point is that you are making steps forward. So, you know, give yourself, treat yourself with some loving kindness and know that you are moving forward. Even if it's baby steps, you are moving forward. And as you're moving forward, keep moving, keep moving. So remember that song by Soul to Soul, keep on moving. So keep on moving, keep moving forward. If you need support, please seek the support that is available to you. There's, there's support available, there's resources available, and you have options. So as I'm signing off, I again ask you to think about not only for yourself, but also for other Black women, because so many of us are really struggling in toxic jobs. It's unbelievable how many Black women have reached out to me about their toxic uh, work experiences um, so many of us. So you are not alone. First of all, I'll let you know that. Second, I'm asking if you could please help support another Black woman or women who are going through similar situations in terms of offering them support, sharing resources with them, sharing this video with them, sharing with them about resources that I mentioned in the description section of this video. So again, my business is lifting as we climb consulting, wellness services. As I am healing as a toxic job survivor, I'm reaching out to you and I'm reaching out to all Black women, as many Black women as I can. I'm reaching out to you so that I can help you lift. As I'm healing, I'm helping you lift also so you can get off these jobs, which many times are like plantations. So that is my hope for you and that you will also reach back and you will help other Black women off these job plantations as well. And if they want to go to another job, hopefully it's not a plantation either, but if they want to go somewhere else, encourage them to go somewhere else, but offer them support because they need it. We need it. We need that support. So please give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know to suggest this video to other people, other Black women who may need to hear this message. 
And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Lifting as we climb consulting wellness services. So again, remember, if your job is killing you or harming you in any kind of way, that is not a good job. Okay. Okay. So I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.